Welcome back to our channel. Do you ever feel lost? Maybe you can't help but feel the looming presence of depression riding on your shoulder. Besides your struggles and resistance, dark thoughts find a way into your mind, changing how you perceive life and ultimately yourself. Have you ever had thoughts like, I'm no one, I'm nothing, I'm alone, my life is over. While it may sound cliche, your life is not over and there's something in it worth living. We can get lost in our heads, feeding ourselves dark thoughts and cruel insults. Don't give up hope just yet. We can rewrite these thoughts and our future. To help you take a step back and remember what it is in life that is worth living, we've made this video just for you. Here are six things to remember when you feel like your life is over. Number one, remember. Life isn't always happy, not all the time. We can often get lost in the idea that we must be happy. We look at others and idealize their lives. We look to our neighbors, their house is so big, they have so much. Then we look at our peers, they're so far ahead, they have so many friends, they must be happy. And while we can live seemingly happy lives, most of our lives are spent living in neutral, we aren't meant to be living in a constant, static state of joy. For if we were constantly happy, there would be no happiness. Happiness would just become normal, mundane, and something that we're used to. It is true, people can live their lives happy and not realize it until it's gone. We as humans are made to generally look at the negative side of things. We're simply designed that way. In psychology, it's generally accepted that the human brain has a negativity bias. Studies of the brain activity have shown that the brain responds more actively to images that are negative than positive or neutral ones. The general idea is that our brains have evolved as if to protect us from danger. As evolving humans, we needed to focus on the dangers that could harm us rather than the positive ones in our life in order to survive. So when you find yourself feeling unhappy, constantly comparing your life to others, ruminating over worries, bringing yourself down, don't feel discouraged because you believe you should be the life of the party. Acknowledge that these negative thoughts are normal. Be an observer of your life, know your limits, and know there's no such thing as always being happy. Happiness is a moment, a passing one at that. For if it stayed any longer, we would forget that we were even happy at all. That feeling would simply become neutral and we wouldn't be able to appreciate it. Number two, everything in life is sure to pass. While it may seem like this feeling may never go away, you must acknowledge that there are other feelings to experience. They are out there, we just have to find them. Perhaps you just lost a beloved job, or maybe you're mourning the loss of a loved one. You may even be suffering from a mental illness. While it may seem like the pain from these experiences is unrelenting no matter how much you fight it, life is always changing. We are always growing as humans and events and circumstances can and will change. All things pass with due time and hope is out there. If it's a week, a day, an hour, a minute that you need, give your heart the time it needs to heal that hour, that month, that year, whatever it may be. One day, when you wake to the sun rising, you're gonna feel better. Number three, acknowledge the good in your life. We all have so much to be grateful for, but we're not always good at acknowledging it. Sometimes when our thoughts are so focused on the negative of a mistake we've made or a task we failed, we can forget the positives. Now, it can be very hard to be someone who always looks to the bright side. Don't expect that of yourself. Like I mentioned before, the human brain is biased towards negativity. Acknowledge that. But then, just take a peek at what does make your life worth living. Make a sort of game out of it. If you have kind and loving parents or friends, take a moment to feel gratitude. If you've achieved something great in the past, recognize it and truly give yourself a congratulatory pat on the back. If you've overcome an immense struggle, Feel proud. Recognizing what is good in our lives can help us see that they do outweigh the bad if we give them the attention and love that they deserve. Then we can see all the good that made our lives worth living, makes our lives worth living. Number four, 
write your own story. All of us can get so caught up in our disappointments that we forget that we can change. Maybe you aren't the person you set out to be. So first realize that maybe that isn't such a bad thing. Do you have to be who you always imagined in order to live a fruitful, happy life? You can become someone else, anybody else. The possibilities are endless. I mean, you'll still be you. Like, don't expect to become the king of France. Odds aren't really in your favor for that one, but keep the essence of who you are and don't feel that you have to change, but do know that we all make mistakes and we can always learn from them. With enough practice, habits can be forged skills can be learned, and you can be the best version of yourself. Change is possible. We just have to keep pursuing it. Number five, your mind can lie and knows best how to convince you. We are truly our own worst enemies. Our minds can lie to us. We tell ourselves harsh things and cruel criticisms. We ruminate on what goes wrong in our life over what has gone right. We are the best at lying to ourselves. Maybe you felt it, the harsh words and criticisms stinging you. They find a way deep into your heart, prying at your insecurities, as if screaming in an unrelenting voice that you find is your own. You may think you're worthless, that you've surely failed, that you'll never get better, but these are lies. We can look at others with unbiased eyes and realize they're judging themselves far too harshly. So maybe we should try to do the same for ourselves. Recognize whatever circumstances you're in. Whatever has happened to you, it's not a reflection of your self-worth. You're not set in stone. We can change, we can grow, and our self-criticisms are often too harsh. Quite frankly, you've been a bit of a liar and I'm calling you out. Number six, there is or can be someone out there who loves you. Some of us are blind to the overwhelming amount of support that there is for us. We simply need to give others a chance and open up. There's someone out there who loves you. Maybe in this moment of your life, you feel alone, but to feel alone is not a reason to give up. Many survivors of suicide have often regretted their suicide attempts as soon as they made them. And many have gone on to build meaningful lives and loving relationships. While it can feel like you've been waiting or trying forever to find someone who understands you and loves you, don't give up. They could be right around the corner. You could one day find someone to build a life with, a partner, a friend, a family. The passion can even become the love of your life. And if given enough love from yourself, one of your best allies and friends can even be you. It should be you. And try to give you the love the best of friends deserves. If you don't give up, and instead give your life the fighting chance it deserves, you can nurture the bright thought that your life is life worth living. And soon you'll find yourself thinking, I am someone, I am me. I can be anything, anyone I want to be. I'm not alone, for every I, there can be a we. My life is not over, for tomorrow can be my new beginning. If I make it so, if I can, it could be. <laughs> I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. Very nice, Sai. So did any of these reminders help you? If so, which resonated with you the most? Share with us your experiences in the comments and know that you're not alone. And if these feelings persist, consider seeking help from a mental health professional. They do care for you and so do we. With a bit of support, you could soon be on your way to feeling just a bit happier. Although, not 24 seven. That's highly unlikely and quite frankly, impossible. At least according to psychology and practically every human mind. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to click the like button and share this video with someone who might need it. Sharing this video could be giving them the support they so desperately need and deserve. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. And as always, Sai, you want to say it? Okay. <clears throat> Thank you for watching.